Hello, hello, hello. We had a lot of action today. Unfortunately, it happened in Asia. Um, a few times, a few hours a weekday, I decided to sleep, and boom, 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 we get everything going on there. But finally, we're going to have some data coming out this week, and it'll be the FOMC minutes on Wednesday. Uh, let's just take a look at the majors and how we have them setting up heading into that. You can see that the USDJPY is obviously in a triangle, and we need a break of this triangle either directions to get things a little bit exciting. And then that, or, or at least a test to the top or the bottom. And that, you can see, is also translating over into the Euro JPY in the middle of a triangle. We have a little bit of detail there, looking for a break at the top or a break of that common range in the Great Britain JPY, which is at the top of its range. So we'll be watching the Great Britain JPY more specifically tomorrow uh, at the F, after the FOMC. Now, the other majors, though, the Great Britain USD, you can see still is cycling higher. This baby has had some momentum. And as long as the pair, as you to be as long as it was above 154.30 it a favor to move higher now it looks like as long as the pair is above 156.10 it favors a continued move higher and we could be looking for a move all the way to the top of the range at 156.75 and then maybe the 0.618 fib of that move down around 158 but that would be interesting to watch in the FOMC because today obviously people are heavily favored for a long in that and we could see some sell off where we get a little bit of dollar strength as we could in the euro USD as this pair has been consolidated consolidating but it has had a push up higher and it is testing the top of this range which was basically between um that, that it had challenged multiple times at 134.10. It'll be interesting to see if we get a daily close above that level. And if we do, maybe we could see a little bit of action to the top side. And any move higher obviously favors a top move up towards what 135 and then all the way back up to the top at 137. But it is also definitely set up for a, another reversal here where we could see a push down. So that's what we'll have to watch. And the Aussie, New Zealand, those are the big movers today. People are unwinding in Asia. And you can see that the Aussie, though it hasn't really moved too much, still in basically in the broader range. Like I've said before, still making lower lows, and we'll have to see if we can get a push back down to at least that 87.80 level in that pair to confirm that. If not, if we get a break above 93.20, could cycle up. Same with New Zealand. You can see that this pair moved up the test the 81 level, and it really looked like it was breaking through that, but it couldn't find the uh, Momo, uh, the strength to keep going, so it uh, it has pushed back down. All right, everybody, good luck trading the. Um, you can check the uh, charts and play section on the blog to see which pairs uh, to see uh, these charts I have up here right now, and. Um, if you can also check out the monthly results and you could sign up today to start receiving info uh, as early as tomorrow. All right, everybody. Talk to you later.